Hi everyone, welcome to Let's Learn. In this video, we can see some of the expected questions from the poem The Canonization by John Dunn. So the first question is, match the following. He affects the metaphysics not only in his satires but in his amorous verses. John Dunn and Dunn and Dunn. Dunn for not keeping off accent deserved hanging. In John Dunn's poetry, heterogeneous ideas are yoked by violence together. So the speakers are Dr. Samuel Johnson, Ben Johnson, Dryden, John Dunn. Now let's check the answer. There are four options given. You have to identify which one is the correct one. That is A3. He affects the metaphysics not only in his satires but in his amorous verses was said by Dryden in his essay Discourse Concerning Satire. And John Dunn, second one, John Dunn and Dunn and Dunn was said by John Dunn itself about his marriage to marriage with and Dunn and Dunn. C. Dunn for not keeping of accent deserved hanging was said by Ben Johnson. In John Dunn's poetry, heterogeneous ideas are yoked by violence together was said by Dr. Samuel Johnson. Samuel Johnson, he is also known as Dr. Johnson and he, it is from, this line is from his uh, book that is Lives of the Most Eminent English Poet. It is also known as Lives, Lives of the English, uh, Lives of the Poet. Uh, in that book, uh, there is a chapter that is about Abraham Cowley, the poet. And in that particular chapter, he says these words about John Dunn, John Dunn's poetry. Now, T.S. Eliot, in his essay, The Metaphysical Poets, he revived the, these metaphysical poets by quoting Samuel Johnson. So, actually, it was T.S. Eliot who uh, revived metaphysical poets. Now, let's see the next question. Which of the following is not true regarding the poem, The Canonization? It was published in 1633. The title stands for dual purpose, love canonizing the speaker and the poem itself functions as a canonization of the lovers. It consists of five stanzas with eight lines each, a total of 40 lines. Its imagery is like a Petrarchan sonnet. Now let's check the answer. C is not true it's false it consists of actually it consists of five stanzas with nine lines each which all together makes a total of 45 lines now the rhyme scheme of this poem is a b b a c c c d d nine lines okay and there is no specific uh, meter that is it varies from trimeter to pentameter and the lines are iambic lines Ambic lines that varies from trimeter to tetrameter to pentameter. That is the thing. Now, let's see, check the next question. Identify the statement that is false according to the poem canonization. The poet wants the listener to be quiet, hold his or her tongue so that the poet can just love. Not to blame his palsy, got five grey hairs or ruined fortune. To look to his own might and his own wealth and to think of his position and copy the other nobles. None of the above. Now let's check the answer. Not to blame his palsy, got five grey hairs or ruined fortune. Actually the poet just want him to, the listener to just blame these kind of things instead of blaming his love. The next one, dash finds words and dash find out skill, litigious, litigious men, fill the gaps. That is, the right answer is, soldiers and lawyers, soldiers find words and lawyers find out skill. So, this direct question taken straight forward from the now let's see the next one what did the poet do down merchantship and caused flood he stopped coming off spring he caused black deaths none of the above the poet as the poet didn't do any of these the 
point what he did was to love someone next one which statement is or are not true to the poem the canonization poet compares his lover and him to fly tapers eagle and dove and phoenix poet says the lovers are dead and resurrected due to love the poet says that the legend of their love is fit for tomb and hearth the poet says that the legend of their love is fit for poetry so you have to identify which one is not true the answer is the poet says that the legend of their love is fit for the tomb and hearth that's wrong he says that it doesn't fit now the next one we will build in dash pretty rooms so they are going to build something and that is a pretty rooms home in sonnets sorry i already told the answer anyway that's the answer that's pretty straightforward okay now let's check the next one what does this last stanza of the poem the canonization stands for a description of romantic love a prayer by the speaker a prayer to god by the people who consider the lovers as saints of love none of the above so the dance stanza last stanza okay it's a prayer to god by the people who consider the lovers as saints of god who are already canonized and uh, who are remembered through the this poem the canonization so actually the ninth stanza for is a prayer to god Uh, it's a kind of invocation it's kind of uh, a prayer okay that's it the last one match the following fortune float my side strong call her one me at the fly the well road earn here client brooks alliteration hyperbole metaphysical conceit here you have to match the following let's check that so th- third one is the right uh, answer that is a2 fortune float is an alliteration for for sound is there you can identify it now my size drowned hyperbole exaggeration and then call her one me at the fly you know fly uh, the lovers are compared to a fly so it is a metaphysical conceit the well wrote the well wrote urn is a book of book written by client brooks and this book is very important because in this book there is it is collection of uh, some essays uh, where client brooks uh, says that or he uh, he explains that paradox is central to poetry and for that purpose to prove this uh, point he used he used three major works that is Alexander Pope's an essay on man words words poem that is composed upon Westminster bridge and this poem that is the canonization to prove his point uh, to show that po- paradox is central to the poetry he these are the, the three examples that Glenn Brooks the new critic used uh, in this book okay so it's a very important book the well wrote uh, and this is a reference to the same words from the poem the canonization so that's it thank you so much please don't forget to like share and subscribe your support means a lot to me thank you